great review. What's going on, smart people? The semester is finally, and I cannot stress finally enough, over. And I thought tonight was gonna be a nice, relaxing, no anxiety or nerves creeping up at the end of the night, but to my surprise, final grades were posted, so of course I'm gonna make a video on it. Now, I know what one of them is. I know what my final grade for electromagnetism is, Jackson e and I won't spoil it, we'll go through it together, but I really don't know what my high energy physics grade is or my nuclear lab. And it's not one of those things where you don't know officially, but you kind of still know because we really weren't, didn't get too many grades back throughout the entire semester. Um, all I can say is this has been without a doubt the most stressful, taxing, consistently heavy workload semester of my entire life. So in my books, I'm, I like I can't I know I'll be disappointed if I don't get good grades but like I'm proud of myself for really finishing and getting everything done because there were times this semester where I really was just like ah does how much would not turning this in really hurt my grade those those kinds of things just kept popping in and out so for pers some perspective my Jackson E and M class we had six homework assignments a midterm and a final exam for my high energy physics class we had ten homework assignments. We had a midterm project where we had to take in uh, neutrino data from one experiment and place cutoffs and make decisions about what to count and what not to count. That way we could calculate what's called the weak mixing angle. And then we had to write a paper on that. Super cool project. I thought it was awesome, but that's one thing that we did. We also had a final exam and we had a final presentation where we had to present on a selected topic. Mine, for example, was on spin dependent structure functions and we had to write a paper on that. So probably twice the workload as Jackson E&M just for that one class. And then I also took a nuclear physics lab, an experimental class from the same professor, where we had maybe six or seven labs to go through and then their associated lab reports. And then we had to do a presentation on one of them and uh, we had an oral final. So maybe that doesn't sound like a lot to you. I just know that from what I've been ex experiencing in grad school, it was a lot for me. And, um, so I'm trying to tell myself no matter what I get, I'm, I'm, I should be happy. I don't think I got a B. Fingers crossed I didn't get less than a B in anything, but I think if I get a B, I'm telling myself I'll be okay with it. It's not the end of the world. Um, but let's go ahead. I, I couldn't get OBS to get the software to run so that I could screen record, but I'll post a picture. Like You'll be able to see what grades I get. So let's go ahead and click on this final thing on the view fall uh, term. As, I'm saying that as if you can see, OBS isn't running. So electromagnetic theory, that's what I know that I got. I got an A, and, whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it, this is one of those things where I was hyping, or like, not hyping myself up, but preparing myself to have a kind of crappy semester, maybe get, what I was expecting was getting maybe like a, a B in high energy physics and maybe like a B plus in experimental. I didn't tell you what my expectations were. But just overall how I think the trajectory of the classes went without getting too much feedback on what we did, I thought that was about what I would get, but nope. <laughs> okay, awesome. So this, what's making me kind of giddy right now is this is my first time ever getting straight A's in my life. Editing Andrew here. I talked to my mom and apparently I did make straight A's once in undergrad, so that was fake news. I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Uh, you can expect an apology video later this week. Um, but thank you, mom, for pointing that out. Anything else, and I think my GPA would have actually gone down because I think I had it like a 3.7 something before. So I think if I got a B in one of those, that would have brought it down. Uh, that feels really good. That feels really good that all of that stress and stuff wasn't for nothing and that it all came out good in the end. Yeah, I really don't know what to say here. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, I know that just how the stories go down this class, these two classes for high energy and experimental are notoriously difficult and kind of maybe not harsh grading, but uh, high expectations. Let's just call it that. Let's just call it like it is. And after speaking with my professor, I was like, so what's the grade distribution usually look like? Um, and he said, like, it's not too bad to get a B, but you have to do pretty well to get an A. So I'm, I'm happy. Uh, this was the end of my third semester of grad school, and thankfully, next semester is not going to be another one of these semesters. I honestly don't think that I could do it if it was another one of these. Like, if I could give advice to myself back, like, uh, 
when I was signing up for classes for this, I would say, take either high energy or nuclear lab, but don't do them both together. You're going to want to die. <laughs> But next semester, I should be taking, uh, it should be an easier workload. It should be uh, computational physics, the second half of Jackson E&M. And I, it looks like I'll just be doing research credits for the other three credits. So it should be much more at my own pace than this one. I guess what I want to do is, um, I think a lot of you are probably just finishing up your first semester of college, or maybe you're going in in the spring semester for some reason. Maybe it didn't go the way that you thought it would and you're looking for advice. So what I think I'd like to do is, one, for those of you who are going through like a physics degree, I want to know how this semester went for you. And on top of that, I want you to give advice to people who are now starting their physics degree, just so it's not all my perspective. And I think I might do a video on it, something like, um, I don't know, advice for physics majors by physics majors or physics students. So let me know in the comment section how your semester's going. I'm going to go celebrate about this because I'm very happy. But I will see you guys there.